calculate the average atomic mass of bromine. One isotope of bromine has an atomic mass of 78.92 AMU and a relative abundance of 50.69%. And the other major isotope of bromine has an atomic mass of 80.92 AMU and a relative abundance of 49.31%. So we're going to solve this using the table method. So first thing I need to do for that, I'm going to need to actually set up my table. So your table, um, you have to remember how to do this, but if you set up the table, the rest of it's kind of easy to solve. So first thing that you have, first column, is going to be isotope. The next one will be percent abundance. Next is decimal. And then we get the atomic mass. And then the last column is for mass. So you can remember, I passed Denny's at midnight. So I passed, P-A, decimal is Denny's, atomic mass is at, and midnight is mass. So I passed Denny's at midnight. OK, so there are two isotopes. So we're only, only going to need two rows here. So my first isotope, which I'm going to call isotope A, and then my other isotope, which I'm going to call isotope B. So I said the isotope A is going to be the blue one. Isotope B is going to be the orange one. So let's fill in what we can. Uh, percent abundance for the first isotope is 50.69. And for the second isotope, it's 49.31. The atomic mass, 78.92 and 80.92. So I'm just filling these in from the problem, the numbers that we highlighted. So first step that we need to do is take this percent abundance and write it as a decimal. So the easy way to do that is just move the decimal over twice, which is the same thing as dividing by 100. Okay, now I got to take my decimal percent and multiply it by the atomic mass. So whenever I do that, I'm going to get 40.004548. And I'm writing out all these decimals because um, we're doing calculations here. We want to maintain correct sig figs. And we don't know how many sig figs that's going to be yet because we haven't figured it out. So I don't want to lose any of those decimals. Okay. Now the very last step, I need to take the numbers in this column and add them up. So whenever I do that, my rough number is 79.760544. And now we've got to figure out how many sig figs. So this number had four sig figs, and this had four sig figs. So I multiplied it together. My answer would have four sig figs. So um, all of these guys, whenever I get my answer, um, are going to have to be limited to two decimal points. So whenever I round this, I get 79.76 AMU. And that's our final answer. So the other way to do this um, is with the formula, but it's basically the same steps. You multiply these guys together, get your answer, and then add them up. So you can remember I passed Denny's at midnight, and I'll help you set up your table. Next problem, there are two naturally occurring isotopes of gallium. There is gallium 69, which has a mass of 68.93 AMU. And there is gallium 71, which has a mass of 70.92 AMU. So gallium, this element, has two isotopes. It comes in two flavors. So the first kind of gallium is gallium 69 and it has this mass, 68.93 AMU. The other kind of gallium is going to be gallium 71, which has this mass. 
So I've got two isotopes and they've got slightly different masses. So the real question that I'm asking you in this problem is which one of these numbers is closer to the average value on the table of elements? So according to the table of elements, the actual mass of this is going to be 69.72 AMU. So between the two of these, this number is found by a weighted average of these two numbers. So whichever one of these two numbers is closer to the average, that's going to tell me which of these is more abundant. So because the, 69, the gallium 69, um, this number is closer to the actual number, the higher percent abundance is going to be for gallium 69.